You guys ready to get out? Yes, we are. Oh, yeah, you tired? So last night on our way to Michigan, we did a stopover and we stopped off at the Love's RV Stop, which is an RV park. And it's a very nice little park for a stayover. It has a little store. It has a nice dog park. And it, it's very safe. You actually have to have a code to get into the, the park. And I think it was like $51 to stay over last night. It's not too bad for a little stopover. Good looking little dog park. And I'm guessing it has big dog, little dog. Our dogs are not wanting to cooperate so much this morning. They uh, a little skittish. I think all the truck noise. Let's see what this sign says. Small dogs. Let's see if this is the big dogs. Yep, large. All right, so we are at the RV stop, Love's RV stop. First time we've ever stayed here. I've seen these advertised briefly and I've been wanting to find one to stay at. And as we made our trip, or as we're making our trip up to Holland, Michigan, I told Tina, let's just take a little bit. Of, it was like a maybe an hour longer over the entire trip for two days uh, to get up here. Let's try it out. So I went ahead and made the reservation, and we're going to give you a quick walkthrough of this Love's RV stop in. I'm not sure how you pronounce the name. Demot, Demonte. I don't know. I'll get somebody to help me figure out how to say the name. <laughs> Anyway, Devante, Indiana. It is maybe an hour southish of, of uh, Gary, Indiana, and or Chicago. I got Tina waving at me over there. Hi, dear. Hi, dear. Definitely important. Shoe, shirt, and or no service. <laughs> yeah. Go in and see what they have. No. Oh, Darn it. Now it said if there's no one in the main store that you can go around the back and enter the code, which is part of your email and notification or notifications. Let's just see. Okay, yes. I don't know my code off the top of my head. But here you enter your code. Okay, I found my code. And, and that worked. Let's see what's in here. Nice photos. Oh, this smells brand new. <laughs> it smells brand new. All right, men's showers, we won't go in there. Hand sanitizer, women's showers, definitely won't go in there. Here is the laundry. There we go. Looks like we've got a couple of washers and dryers, folding table, family restroom and shower. And as you can see, this is pretty well stocked. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. Now, coffee, coffee. Definitely need, one, need my coffee. They've got coffee, they've got walking sticks. They've got stuff in here. Look, they even have a really nice basketball court. Very nice. like a rubber floor on it nice so when you arrive at the gate you will have received a code once you have registered you punch your gate code into here do, 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 do. this gate will open and don't be like me and not remember the site number you were in I had to wait till I checked in 
and it popped back up on my menu or my screen, my email. Hey, you are at site number 56. <clears throat> Obviously, it says one way. I was tempted to go straight, but then I saw the signs one through 65 was right over here. So we went this way and long story short, this, at least at this love site, this is a big loop that comes around and it comes right over here. And then these are all pull throughs. So if I was, if I was gonna pull through on that side, I would have just gone through here and pulled that way. But I felt we had to pull through this side and go all the way around. It looks like the perimeter is all back ends. The centers are pull throughs. So this particular facility looks to have 65 sites. And why it's in one through 65 that direction, maybe unless they plan on expanding it later. And as you can see right now, it is not very well populated, but you have to start somewhere, right guys? And I think this is a great idea. I, I think Loves is onto something here. I think it will eventually do well. It may take a little time, but look at this. I mean, here's our rig right here. There's Tina over there. She's uh, doing something. And look, pickleball courts, let's go check them out. So this is pretty cool. We have two pickleball courts. And yet I don't have a pickleball set. Not yet, anyway. Plan on getting one. And right across the street while you're playing pickleball, you can let your kiddos hang out over here on the playground. Now it's a little noisy. I mean, you can hear the interstate from here. Uh, you can hear some of the trucks over at the Loves. Uh, you know, fueling station. But again, these are great, I think, for one night stopovers. It's definitely not a destination location. Oh look, got a nature trail here. And it looks like towards the back side of the loop, there are a couple of shelter houses. And I've noticed, um, I'll say most of the sites have a fire pit, which is interesting. I wouldn't think, you wouldn't think that people would come here to stay for any length of time, but you know what? Maybe if there's something in the area and you needed to find a place that wasn't packed and all you needed was a place, a base camp, if you will, family reunions, get-togethers who knows this could, this could work as you can tell it's definitely not busy now this is early May and we are again heading north <clears throat> but I think again I think loves has got a winner here oh look it looks like we have a community fire pit let's go check it out well they had a fire this is fun I would do this again, and these are great, great for overnight stays. All right, there's Tina. Let's go catch up with her. <sighs> All right, now we're back. Now we're back. My battery's very low. Okay, so. So the store um, was supposed to open at 7:30, but it's nine o'clock. Okay, I bet we can count on one hand how many RVs are here right now. Okay. They look to be almost permanent. <laughs> okay, so we got one. Not including us. Yeah. We'll, we'll include us. We got one, two, three, three, four. Okay, take, it might take two hands. Seven. I'm counting seven, maybe eight. Woman might have been blocked from view. Yeah. Less than two handfuls. Yeah, less than ten. <laughs> yeah, less than ten. It looks like. Yeah. But it's new. Yeah. And 
I think they're trying to build them in other places too. So they are. Maybe eventually they'll catch on, but it's not a bad little stay over. No, no. You know, you and again, I, I was saying while you were away <clears throat> that I think Love's got something going here because, mm -hmm. you know, like, I wouldn't want to come here as a destination. No. But let's just say there was, um, we were having a family reunion or some type of get together mm -hmm. where a number of our family members had RVs. They can come here. Yeah. I mean, this would be like a base camp. Right. So this would be, this would be good. And, and it's probably not going to be hard to find spots, at least for a while. Yeah. No. <laughs> and for the price, I didn't think $51. I think it was $51 for the night. Was for the pull through. Just check online yeah. uh, what the prices are. I don't remember if the back ends were any less expensive. My guess is they are a little bit less expensive. But I was commenting earlier about the fire pits. Oh, yeah. yeah. The fire rings at some sites, not all of them have them. Right. And not all of them have picnic tables. No. I think it's more the back area that has both, both. Right. I, table and rings. Right, because I think pull-throughs, at least if it were me designing this, the pull-throughs are going to be for people like us where we're safe for one night. Right. So, but it's nice to have full hookups though. Yes, it is. All right, so I think we'll head back, check out the pups, get things ready to go for the day, and on our way to Holland, Michigan. Michigan. Course. They have to bark at everything. There's nothing over there, so I'm not sure what they're barking over. Or at, I should say. What you guys barking over, huh? Go get him. Go get him, Annie. Go get him. So trying out the dog park. Getting all their snips. 